You might think you know it all, but the saying you learn something new every day definitely rings true, especially when you're a Be Amazed fan. There are loads of everyday objects that fool us without us even realizing, and I'm about to demystify some of them for you. Stay tuned. Cereal boxes. What could be so deceiving about a plain old cereal box? Well, what if I told you a simple way to seal your cereal and guarantee the perfect crunch every time has been hiding right under your nose? If you're anything like me, you probably roll up the packet, leave the cardboard box open, and hope for the best. But you're doing it all wrong. Not only does that leave your cereal dangerously exposed to the elements, but pesky mice or insects could get in there too, which is not what you want in the morning. TikTok user KDB2020 earned viral fame in 2020 after she shared a foolproof way to secure your cereal that basically no one knew about. Check it out. In case you missed it, all you need to do is fold in the two short tabs on either side of the box and one of the longer flaps, leaving the other long tab free. Next, pinch the two sides of the box closed, then with the remaining tab, tuck the flap into the box and voila! The result is a sealed box that tapers up into a neat little triangle, which means long-lasting cereal and no more breakfast invaders. Toblerone We've probably all given or received a Toblerone as a gift before. It is delicious after all. But how exactly do you go about eating it? Whether nibbling it, biting off a chunk, or just inhaling it whole. Seriously, don't do that. There's a much easier way to get your chocolate fix. For years, we've struggled and failed to break off the triangle pieces by pulling them towards us, which usually causes a straight up mess. But fear not, people. There's another way. That's right, it's really that easy. There's no need to pry the bar apart with all your muscle. Just push the top of each triangle down and it should snap away from the rest. A firm tab should be enough to do it. This hack was revealed by Caitlin Crawford back in 2014 and honestly, life hasn't been the same since. You probably don't have a Toblerone available to practice on right now, but there's something else you could go ahead and tap instead. And that's those like and subscribe buttons. Duh. While you're there, you should probably get acquainted with that little bell icon too. After all, without it, you might still be eating Toblerones the wrong way. I'm just looking out for you. Toilet paper. This one has less to do with the toilet paper itself and more to do with the way you hang it. That's right, it's the age old over or under debate. If you're one of those people who pull your sheets from underneath, I have a news flash for you. You're doing it wrong. Forget how neat and tidy it looks, it's all about how sanitary it is. Think about it this way. With the under method, the toilet paper is basically touching the wall, which could be home to a whole host of grime and bacteria. In case you need any more confirmation about the right way, engineer turned writer Owen Williams actually tracked down the original 1981 patent for toilet paper, and this diagram speaks volumes. So that settles it, people. It's time to move on to bigger and better things. The Heinz 57. If you prefer to be classy and buy your ketchup in a glass bottle, you'll be familiar with the trials and tribulations of getting the most out of those last few drops. Believe it or not, vigorously shaking and smacking the bottle, or even tentatively taking a knife to the condiment, isn't the best way to get more bang for your buck. You probably haven't heard, but an official spokesperson from Heinz has explained that the trick is to focus all your attention on the embossed number 57 on the bottleneck. All you need to do is turn the bottle on a 45 degree angle and then hit the sweet spot with a karate chopping motion using the meaty part of your palm. Apparently, this simple trick keeps the sauce moving through the neck rather than knocking around in the body of the bottle. Who knew? Incidentally, the whole 57 varieties thing is just a ruse for the fact that 57 is the lucky number of the company's founder, H.J. Hines. After Mr. Hines was inspired by an ad he once saw for 21 styles of shoes, he decided to adopt the slogan, even though the company already offered more than 60 varieties at the time. And nowadays, there are more than 5,700 different products to choose from. Toothpaste. Everyone knows the basic rules of good oral hygiene. 
Brush twice a day for at least two minutes using a generous line of toothpaste. Well, one of those things is a total lie. It's true that adverts usually show a nice dollop of toothpaste that runs along the entire length of the brush, but that's not necessarily what you should do. In fact, a pea-sized blob on the end of your toothbrush is more than enough to get your teeth clean. The reason why toothpaste adverts deceive us like this is pretty simple. Firstly, it looks more attractive, and second, if people are using big old blobs of toothpaste two times a day, they're more likely to need to buy the stuff more often. Pretty sneaky, right? Oh, and here's another fun fact for your noggin. The blob of toothpaste on your brush even has an official name. A nurdle. Thank me later. Towel displays. If you've ever been to Bed Bath & Beyond before, you've probably marveled at their immaculate towel displays that somehow reach the ceiling. You might be wondering what kind of neat freak dreamed up such a mean feat, but get this, it's all a front. Literally. Check it out. If you really thought it was someone's job to neatly fold and stack such an immense number of towels, think again. These sneaky foam blocks are probably a total lifesaver for employees because it means a single towel on an out of reach shelf can be arranged to create the illusion that there's a total abundance of them. As if that wasn't enough, it turns out the big stacks of jeans on display at Old Navy are mostly fake too. Is everything in my life a lie? First towels, now jeans. I can't help but wonder what other store displays aren't exactly what they seem. Do any of you guys have any insider knowledge about some of the sneaky ways stores fool us all? Maybe you're a former employee with some gossip to spill. I'm genuinely interested, so let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll respond to a few of my favorites. Toilet plungers. When it comes to a clogged toilet, the first thing you'll want to reach for is a plunger. But if the one you grab looks anything like this, the chances are you'll be working on that baby for a very long time. The trusty old red cup plunger might work perfectly fine to unclog a sink or a bathtub, but it would be an amateur move to use on a messed up toilet. What you really need is one of these puppies, which is known as a flangey plunger. The so-called flangey is the sleeve-like extension at the end that fits snugly into the opening at the bottom of a toilet. To use it correctly, make sure there's enough water in the bowl, angle the plunger over the hole, and then push the handle down and back up repeatedly before flushing. In a pinch, the flangey can also fold into the cup to create a standard cup plunger, but that's more appropriate for use on a sink, so you don't even need both types either. Darn you, Hollywood, for deceiving us like this. Peanut butter. Peanut butter is one of the most versatile ingredients in your cupboard. I'm talking classic PB&Js, pies, shakes, the lot. But there's one drawback if you're a fan of the more natural kind. The problem with natural nut butter is that you'll find yourself having to mix in a load of weird oily liquid that's collected on the surface every time you open the lid. That's because while non-natural peanut butters use ingredients like palm oil to help extend their shelf life and stabilize the mixture to prevent separation, natural PBs lack this ingredient. That means the peanut's own oil separate from the butter itself through a process known as cinerasis, especially at warmer temperatures. Worry not though, there's a simple fix not many people know about. Just store your natural peanut butter upside down. That way the oils at the top will be forced to travel back through the butter, mixing right in themselves. The more you know, eh? Juice cartons. I hate to break it to you, but it's time to add pouring juice to the list of things you've been doing wrong all your life. After reaching for a carton of fresh orange juice, most people intuitively put the plastic spout as close to the glass as possible. It makes logical sense, until you try to pour it and the juice splatters all over the place as the carton emits an obnoxious glugging sound. Those days are over now, my friends, because the solution is much simpler than you think. As so excellently showcased here, all you have to do is turn the carton up the other way so the spout is furthest away from the glass. There's actually a scientific reason why one method is better than the other. Apparently, when you pour with the spout close to the glass, it's the weight of the liquid that pushes it out of the carton, leaving no room for airflow via the pouring hole. As volume in the carton decreases, plenty of newly formed air bubbles create uneven pressure, which results in the familiar glugging sound. Can't argue with that. Soda can tabs. I can't be the only one who thinks soda tastes so much better out of a freshly chilled can, right? Sure, they aren't quite as practical as a bottle and you don't get any more bang for your buck, 
but there's a little known trick that might just make the can more worthwhile. Besides helping you crack the bad boy open, those little soda can tabs actually have a secret purpose as a handy straw holder. Don't believe me? Next time you crack open a soda, spin the metal tab around over the open hole, stick a straw in it, and bingo. Your soda experience just got a whole lot more refreshing. If you're already partial to sticking a straw in your can, you'll know that it can often rise up unexpectedly and stab you in the eye or nostril. So this is one foolproof way to keep it in place. Plus, there are actually some pretty great benefits to using a straw because soda is notorious for staining your teeth. Practical and healthy. Kinda. Sports fields. Laying down a roll of fake grass can be a stress-free way to ensure a perfect lawn without having to agonize about keeping it watered. But it's easy to forget that AstroTurf is also used to cover entire sports fields. No matter how many sports you play, the illusion is so convincing that it can be hard to remember that the ground you're standing on isn't real at all. Until this happens, that is. Students at Southmoreland High School in Pittsburgh got a rude awakening in August 2013 when they found their football field looking like a scrunched up carpet. When East Huntington experienced a strong flood that summer, two inches of rain came down at once, burrowing under the playing surface and causing it to buckle, rip apart, and wash away. Considering AstroTurf is something we all know is fake, it does a darn good job of fooling us. Super Noodles Sometimes cooking seems like such a chore. And that's precisely why super noodles are such a guilty pleasure. But what if I told you your favorite instant meal is totally pulling the wool over your eyes? Take a look at this shocking expose. What do you see? Hardly looks like the most hearty meal now, does it? And what's that secret void at the bottom all about? Well, don't get all in arms just yet. There's actually a pretty feasible reason why so much of the instant noodle cup is just plain old air. Apparently, manufacturers deliberately leave space above and below the noodles to allow the hot water to flow through them and cook them evenly. By the time those agonizing few minutes wait are up, the noodles have expanded to full size and you're none the wiser. Still feels like a bit of a betrayal though, doesn't it? Chinese takeout boxes. While we're on the topic of food packaging, did you know that the classic takeout boxes you get from your favorite downtown Chinese joint are more than just a box? In fact, they're basically transformers. All you have to do is simply pop out the wire handle, untuck the sides of the takeout box, and watch as it effortlessly becomes an easy to use plate. Might not seem all that groundbreaking, but that means no more greasy hands from digging into the bottom of the box and less washing up to do afterwards. It's a win-win. Plus, if you don't happen to finish all the food in one sitting, you can just as easily fold it back into a box and stick it in the fridge for later. And by later, I mean breakfast, of course. Sneaky pavements. So far, the main takeaway, see what I did there? is that you can't really trust anything to be exactly what it says on the tin these days. Not even the ground you walk on, apparently. It might take a moment to wrap your head around, but these guys really are creating a tiled pavement using a big stencil. The process is known as stamped concrete, and it's far more common than you'd think. Stamped concrete can be used for a whole load of projects, including sidewalks, driveways, patios, and interior flooring. And it can easily be made to resemble anything from brick to slate and stone. First, cement is poured evenly over the desired area and smoothed to sweet perfection. Then the desired colors are added to the concrete and the stamps are mats using a pigmented product called powder release. Next, the fun part. Textured rubber or metal stamps are pressed firmly into the concrete in a repeated pattern to create the full illusion. Once the concrete is firmly set, it can then be pressure washed and any last minute fixes can be made before it's sealed. And voila! you have yourself a tile pavement that isn't really tiles at all. As if that wasn't mind-blowing enough, a similar process can be used to create wood effect flooring. Wood that's actually concrete? What's next? Stamped concrete isn't the only way pavements fool us all. Just take a look at this mind-blowing image. What's going on here may look like something out of the matrix, but it's actually pretty simple. What they're carrying is a quick, cheap, and easy way to achieve the authentic feel of a cobblestone street, which is aptly called a cobblestone carpet. Although they might look like traditional cobbles, these cobblestones are actually attached to a single plastic mat that can be laid in any shape or size. Besides the cost saved on labor and purchasing the materials, a cobblestone carpet is often so seamless that you won't notice it's fake at all. Try paying special attention next time you're walking down the street. Foil boxes. 
It's a pretty well-known fact that the serrated edge inside aluminum foil boxes can be used to cut single sheets easily. But that still doesn't stop the whole roll from jumping out and onto the floor. Well, after a lifetime of battling the box, allow me to introduce you to the secret tab that's about to change your life completely. In fact, there are two little tabs on either side of the box, and all you have to do is press them inward to lock the roll in place. That way, you can use oodles of foil to your heart's content. Why don't they tell us about these things sooner? Can you think of any more inventions that managed to subtly fool us all? Let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.